What is up, beautiful people of YouTube? My name is Jerry Testic, and ladies and gentlemen, I don't even know how to start this video, man. I really don't. You guys know how big of a fan of Tropical I am. Most of you guys, a lot of you guys, I think like 2,000 of you guys, know this channel based on my Tropical 5 videos. A lot of you guys have been excited for Tropical 6 to see me play it, and here we are today. It has have finally been officially released. Of course, the beta was out. We didn't want to do anything in the beta because the game save file kept getting corrupted every update. But we finally have the Tropical 6 final, final release. The full game release. Here it is. Not the final release. I'm sure they'll have updates too. It is the first video, so it's going to be longer than, than the rest of them. My, my Tropical 6 videos are not going to be this long. But since we're going to go through over things, I'll put a timestamp in the bottom below if you want to skip this, this part. But we're going to go ahead and just because it is the first episode that we're on. We're going to go ahead and check this out, see what we're doing. Of course, gender is going to be male. It's a little similar to the other tropical. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You got uh, 70s pirate modern business. Now we're going to go with the, with the classic. With the classic. I'm just going to go with the classic this game. Not, not too much really I want to change, to be honest with you. Maybe the color. I like I always like red, so secondary secondary color is gonna be white or light gray, I guess. In this case, they're white. Go with the light gray. Awesome hat color. We'll go we'll go light gray for the hat. What is going on here? Oh, here it is. We go light gray for the hat and red. It's kind of breaks it up a little bit. Like I said, man, I'm 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 just so excited, man. We are finally here. Of course, this is our first island, President Traits. Kind of normal, manipulative, ap ap uh, apologetic, charismatic, corrupt. Uh, let's see, let's see which one. Workaholic increases the, the deficiency of all bills. Increases by one percent. Really not, uh, not really worth that for the job happiness being by two. Um, pyromaniac, no. Standings gain for practice election is increased by fifty percent. The relation loss for asking for super uh, is increased by twenty five percent. I think we're going to go with manipulative, be honest with you. Apologetic is going to be uh, standing penalty for rejecting demands is decreased by 50% in protest. Uh, that could work, but manipulative, ma manipulative. Oh my God, okay, I'm so excited I can't even speak. We're going to go for manipulative there. The palace, oh yeah, this is something that a lot of us have, uh, you know, we're excited to see in, in Tropical. And we are here. <laughs> we are, I'm so excited for this, man. Again... If you want to skip this, the timestamp will be in the description or in the comment section below where you can skip the intro. Let's take a look at the... I like this one, actually. I do like this one. What else we got? This one is nice, too. Uh, we can go for the standard palace, which is nice. This one is nice as well. Man, it's kind of hard when you got multiple choices. I don't really like split one too much. I played that in the, in the beta too much. Left... Front yard, brickyard, right. I like the right, guys. I'm going to go for this one, all right? We're going to go for this one right now. Stick out. Which second? Oh, I could rotate it. Okay, good. Good. I was like, what? Come on. Let me rotate it so I can see. Grass, red carpet. Oh, red carpet just sounds fancy. Yellow brick road, planks, gravel. No, we're going to give him carpet, dude. It's El Presidente, man. Oh, unlocked. Oh, okay, so it's locked. All right, so we can't go with that. We'll just go with the cobblestone then. Brick, let's see. You got brick. You got military. No, that's ugly. Locked, heavy military. Victorian style, I like that. I like the Victorian style. Oh, we got... Oh, wow, we can... I don't think this was in the beta. But that's what's nice about this, man. They did add to it. I think this the, the, the maze was in the beta, but... Stone garden, I like that. I do love the stone garden. Oh, that looks nice. That looks beautiful. I mean, these things, again, doesn't affect gameplay, but it's kind of nice. I like this. Koi Pond locked. Reach a population of 1,000. Okay, we're going to do that easily in a second here. Um, I guess since it's locked, we'll just go with this. So we can always upgrade, so don't don't, don't forget that. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Look at this, dude. I love this, though. You can have flags there. Oh, how nice is that? Flagpole, tropical flag, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we got another one here. You can keep it fancy. Let's put a garden, boulder, cherry. Anything military like? Uh, I guess this, this is kind of, but it's locked, anyways. We'll go for this one. 
Once again, don't forget that we can change all of this. No, I, I'm going to keep it as, as white. I like white. We'll go ahead with, with red since red is kind of our default color here. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So, uh, possibilities are endless, man. Possibilities are endless. I do feel like these things were just got added in a later beta. Or maybe they were added, they just didn't want to unlock it right away. So, there's that. And we're going to stick with the default. Alright, so Palace is done. And now, we can go ahead. Do you want to exit customization mode? Yes, I do. So, we're about to start our sandbox gameplay first. That's what we're about to do. If you guys want to see missions, that's fine. Um, now, this is going to be very, very picky. I'm not going to bore you guys with this. Well, I'll show you guys this part, but I'm going to look at the islands, and then I'll get back to you before we start the game here. All right, guys. I decided to go for this one, Trace Padres. Uh, I like it. Somewhat flat. It has islands. Maybe I don't like the mini islands there, uh, but obviously all of these were not all of them were lo uh, unlocked during that, so we're going to go for this one. Okay, so we're going to start a colonial era. Uh, let's get the population to 200. Money, let's get... Uh, we are going to play in the difficult, somewhat difficult there. So, Caribbean happiness fair. We don't really care about that. Demanding or aggressive? Since it is our first island, let's go with demanding, okay? Because I don't want to go aggressive just yet. Because even though I consider myself somewhat a really, really good pro player of Tropical 5. And I, I just know the ins and outs of it. I don't know if it's the same or not. So, I'm going to just chill there. Uh, opposition difficulty. Let's put... Uh, let's put moderate... Uh, disasters. I never really cared about disasters, to be honest with you. And victory by points, none, none, none. That's it. And let's start the map. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this, guys. Oh boy, here we are. Oh my god, man. I am. <laughs> I don't want to keep saying I'm so excited, but I really, really am, man. You guys have no idea how long I've been waiting for this game to fully, fully release like this. But here we are. Our first island. Now, usually. I did three seasons of Tropical 5. One season was normal where we want to make everybody happy. We want to make money. You know, just make it a happy island, a healthy island, a successful island. A uh, second one was kind of challenging where we made no resources at all. The third one we made it where it was a complete dictatorship. This one we're going to start off since that's our first Tropical 6 island. We're going to start off just facing all the difficulties and being a happy island, making sure we get our ratings up, our approval up, making sure we have a successful economy, so on and so forth. So that's going to be it right here. It's going to be one of those islands where we're going to try to please everybody, try to have a healthy economy, good health care, good food system, good military, good religious, uh, good religious approval, etc., so on and so forth. So as usual, as I always do in all of my episodes, we check the almanac because the almanac is my best friend in this game. 148 unemployed citizens out of 200. 141 homeless of course we're gonna need some type of food operations that's gonna be kind of what we need to keep or get going on uh, in our island here so let's go ahead and start off laying off the cord before we start doing that let's go ahead and take a look at the overlays and let's take a look at codes what i don't want to because i don't want to build on top of stuff you know here oil let's take a look actually at the island so just to kind of give us a brief overview so oil is lacking like hell in this island. There's three oil spots that we can have. Nickel <clears throat> is, uh, what, non-existent? Is that what you're telling me? Really? N nickel is non-existent, okay. Coal is a little bit. Iron looks like we got, a, we got a lot of iron. Gold, we got not too much of it. Uranium, which you can use for power plants. Again, nothing. Aluminum, nothing. Nickel, nothing. Fish, great so we're screwed because the oil is not that good so that's gonna be one thing that we got to focus on and i always advise you guys to take a look at this before you start building on top of things that you shouldn't be building on top of and unfortunately for this island doesn't look like we're gonna be getting really lucky when it comes to resources we're not lucky at all i mean oil is one thing that we love and uh that's what it is so we are in a colonial era so there will be some we do got a mandate time as you see in the bottom left side of your screen right there let's go ahead and start building our plantation we're gonna build uh, a corn plantation and a sugar plantation or let's do a corn no, not ranch plantation uh, corn plantation there it is now of course i did play i did play tropical 6 the beta version on my own i tried to do it for this channel but it got corrupted but so i, I I'm, I'm somewhat familiar with what's going on like okay uh 
the the, the yellow circle, uh, the blue circle, I'm assuming is gonna show us if we're connected to the road or not. Yeah, I'm assuming that's what that is. Okay, let's get a, let's get a banana over here. Not a banana. Let's, let's, it's not let's get a banana. You know, we're not gonna eat a banana, but you know what I'm saying. Let's get a ranch. And again, we're just trying to feed our people here. At the same kind of hit two birds with one stone. We're trying to feed our people, and at the same time, fill up some jobs. Of course, if this is your first time watching me, uh, welcome to the channel. Please feel free to subscribe. But I do want to let you know something about how my strategy is in Tropical. At first, things are going to seem cluttered. Like, you'll be like, why is the ranch next to this, next to this? That's fine. That's completely fine. I start rearranging things once we start getting money. So don't worry about if things look cluttered to you right now. That's A-OK. -okay. That will all change. We're going to build a construction office because we're going to need things to be boosted up for us. And we're gonna soon probably build a Teamsters office. Let's take a look at our trade ships and see if we, there's anything that we can do. So trade ship, the trading does look different than the beta, and I'm loving it. I'm loving the fact that it tells you right here uh, if it's a good deal or bad deal right off the bat. So right now we don't really have a lot. We don't really have a lot. Sort by trade parts or by export import. Okay, so this one, they have coconut, coconut. Take bananas from them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can, there are coconut hides here that we can, we can start doing the coconut. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, that's beautiful. That's beautiful, man. For somebody that's all about the statistics of this game, I love this. I love this so much, man. Goods and prices offered. Look at that, man. I got to learn more about this, and I'm sure I'll do a lot of how-to videos about this. But uh, this is awesome, man. They did say it was going to be much more... Much more emphasis on trading, and, 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 and we're seeing it right here, right now. Looks like the only really good deal we have right now that we can accomplish is is uh, is a coconut. So we're going to go ahead and take that. We will go ahead and take that. Let's go sign a contract. We're going to do 900 units just for now. It's not really that much. It just says 5% more, as you can see. Do you want to sign the la la? Yes, I do. So we, we just signed a contract for that. Let's see, do we have, there's a contract. Okay, the contract does show here, awesome. And there's also a trade route log, man. Man, that's amazing. So let's go ahead and get a few coconut hides out here for us. Coconut harvester, okay, perfect. In a perfect location, because the closer it is, the better for us. Let's go ahead and get one more, since that seems to be the, the thing that we're gonna be starting off making our money with. Cool, cool, cool. Now we've built a few jobs of obviously it's not enough for 148 unemployed people but as I always play in my Tropical 5 and I'm assuming it's going to be the same for Tropical 6 but unemployment is not always a bad thing in your island. Unemployment is not always a bad thing on your island, okay? Now let's go ahead and start getting our bunk houses. We do need to start uh, taking care of the homeless issue because I'm seeing shacks every dang where. So we're going to go ahead and few, build a few shacks here, few, uh, I mean bunk houses here. Uh, country houses in this game are interesting. So bunk houses are for let me where is it? There's one. They're for uh, poor people, and country houses in this game are for uh, oh there. So they they did a, no another tavern. Where's the country house? There's a country house. The country houses are for well off people. So bunk house poor, and country house well off. Of course on a default budget. All right. So we're waiting for a few things to build here, and we're waiting for a ship, and we're gonna start eyeing out what else we can make money off of. All right, we got our first crown demand. They want us to build a tannery. Okay, that's fine. It extends us by 18 months. Yeah, we will build a tannery. I mean, sooner or later, we're going to need a tannery. Uh, so that's 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 A-OK -okay with me. How much is this to fast build? 1,000? No, we're going to try to save our money as much as possible, man. We're not trying to go left and right. Let's see, where is it? Where is our Presidente? Follow, where is he at? Is he sitting in the garden? I don't see him. Did say follow. Why did the, why didn't the flags... What the hell's going on, man? I put the flags up here. Oh, okay. Displayed in World Wars of Red. Okay. All right, cool. That's fine. That's okay. All right, let's exit this and go back to, to game mode. All right, cool, cool, cool. And now we got our first revolutionary demand. Sooner or later, we don't want to be under the mandate for a while. They don't want a fish in war. If we could do that for them. We can definitely do that for them. Jobs for us. Food for them. And hey, we can make some money off of it, you know? It's not going to be the, the best type of, type of money, but it's enough money right there. So they want a fishing wharf, and they want us to uh, produce about 900 units. So let's go ahead and do that. 600? Okay, for stuff like this, I'm going to just fast, fast build it. It's not even worth, like, really to wait for it, you know what I mean? 
While we will wait for things to build, we looked at resources in the island. Let's take a look at the terrain in our island here. Looks like mostly flat, which I like. Uh, this this island looks like it's gonna be kind of useless for stuff, to be honest with you. I don't know what we can do here. This one looks like mountainous. And then it goes again, goes flat. So it's a huge island. It's, uh, I picked a huge island on purpose because the max population I put is ten thousand, which we will obviously get. And um, oh, cool! Look at that. That's really cool. And we're gonna be we're gonna be in this island for a while. I mean, I'm gonna make sure I make this island top notch for you guys. <clears throat> You know, I'm thinking because this literally just got done getting built and we do need the jobs and all of this stuff. I'm going to get another construction office going and unfortunately I will have to fast build it because things are taking forever to get built around here. They're taking forever. There is an upgrade. I remember from the beta, better save ignore safety regulations. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, and, and put those on even though what it is is uh, the construction rate of workers from this building is increased by 20%. But they have the risk 10% of dying. I hope they don't die. But hey, it is what it is. What it is. We got an island to build. Especially at a very, very crucial age. Uh, a crucial time in the island. Right now is really, really a crucial time. I mean, right now is no time to play. You got to make sure you're good to go. You got to satisfy the colonial era. And you got to make sure you're good to go for the World War and Cold War era. And obviously modern times as well. Okay, as well. Let me see. Did, did we get anything out of... Oh, of course, we didn't because they're not even built yet. That's what I was telling you guys. So it's, it's worth building fast, building them right now because uh, we're actually losing money by them just not doing that. We have we have a trade contract going on and we need them built ASAP. So the house is built here. That's cool. And uh, this two bunk houses are going to get built right here. That's very, very cool. Of course, we're going to start looking. One of the things I always go for is a rum distillery. So we do got that going for them. But they do want a tannery. So unfortunately, we're probably going to have to go with the tannery first. And then maybe make that our source of income for right now. But one thing, since we are in the business of making our people happy, we do need a grocery store. So let's go ahead and give them a grocery store. Sooner or later, we're going to need this anyway. So it's not like, you know, sooner or later, we're going to need this. I always build it like this, but I realized while play, playing the beta that it's actually supposed to go like this. If you want it to like, you know, look, uh, look pleasing, I guess, if you will. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. How much is that? Fast build. 600, we're not really, that's a low priority right now to be honest with you, high priority. Anything else getting built? No, then go ahead, yeah. No, nothing else is getting built. We got three construction, I mean, we got three construction offices. We shouldn't be struggling with, with the amount of things that are getting built right now at all. Okay, we just completed the Fishing Wharf uh, challenge for the revolutionary and they like it obviously. So what is, the strategy the strategy is you get revolutionary immigrants on the island because you need the more revolutionary immigrants the more support you have at this stage the colonial era you go for that forget the money for now i mean obviously if you're broke take the two thousand dollars but forget the money for now because you need the support more than anything else because you want to end with this and you might say well why start a colonial era to begin with because believe it or not if you start like cold war world war or modern times there are more things unlocked and your and your citizens happiness uh affects those things so for example let's say there's a college that's unlocked i'm just giving you an example and you don't have money to build the college but it's unlocked and and that would affect their happiness so what i like about colonial era even though it's kind of annoying to make sure that you 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 go by the mandate what i do like about the colonial era is the fact that you kind of start the foundation up you know you have a healthy start to your island so that's that's the nice thing about it i'm looking to see if there's anything else that was needed right now and of course there is there's the rum there's a rum deal that's going on that we can actually you know lock in right now i'm gonna go for 900 units we're gonna lock in right now just because uh rum is gonna be a big part of our island but before we lock it in we do have to buy another trade license that's new in the previous tropical you, you get two a max of two routes per dock over here you can have all of these technically they are a little spendy i mean they start a thousand then go really 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 high so we're gonna go ahead and sign this contract boom we're gonna sign it there it is and uh you might say well wh why sign this contract right now when you have rum distillery because we're gonna lock in the price we're trying to lock in the price and rum distillery is gonna be our next big 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 project Speaking of projects, we got 101 employed, so we took 48, 47 people down. Homelessness, I'm not really worried about it as much, but it's it's somewhat of a healthier rate right now, okay? So, they want a tannery. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. A tannery, tannery, tannery. It's going to be... Here it is. And, of course, this 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 uh, produces leather from 
from your ranches. I think it's uh, I think it's it's is it uh, Crocodile Ranch is the one that does it, but most of them do hides, uh, leather. So yeah, it's just a crocodile ranch. Oh shit, that's a bad place for a crocodile ranch. Then I'll probably, you know what? Hold on, cancel this. Give me my money back. Do I get my please? I'm gonna get my money. Okay, good. We gotta do it next to each other. This way it can be like faster for Teamsters offices. Take the leather from here, put it in the tannery here. So we gotta go here. I'm not really gonna go too crazy with the tannery or the crocodile ranches because it's not really something that I anticipate is gonna be such a huge part of my island. You know, it's just like, hey, it's here because they want me to put it. I'll make money off of it, whatever, everybody goes home happy kind of thing, you know, but it's not like something like, oh my God, like this is going to make us rich on this island. No, not really. So no, not really. Here we go. Built both of these. Thankfully, it wasn't a lot of money. And now we can start looking at, uh, at our rum distillery here pretty soon because we're going to need to do it sooner or later. Let's take a look at our overlay. Where can we do sugar? That's, that's, that's a good place. Sugar. Almost any place here is good. Okay, perfect. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. You guys are beautiful as well, man. Beautiful people of YouTube, man. Beautiful people of YouTube, man. If, like I said, if you're new to the channel, this is what we do, man. We we have fun. We play. We strategize in this game. We 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 try to be, we try to have it fun at the same time. Teach you th guys things here and there, you know. Uh, like I said, a lot of you guys have subscribed to my channel based on my tropical video, my tropical videos and, and tutorials. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would really really appreciate it. I always say this, man. Tropical fans are one of the best fans that are like legit. You guys are really supportive, man. You guys are really, really supportive. So I would really, really appreciate all the love and support I get, whether it's through comments, likes, whatever. You know, help me spread this channel, uh, and we we can help we can help each other through that. Let's. So we got the rum distillery. Let's go ahead and get one more sugar plantation here. And I'm really, really happy about the rum distillery because that's going to be good income for us. Whether we have a trade imp uh, route for it or not, it's, it's going to be great income for us. All right, I expect these to not take forever to get built because, come on, guys. I mean, there's three construction offices. We can go ahead and start actually building another Teamsters office as well. Let's go ahead and get that. These are very important things to focus on at this, at this stage because your economy started to grow you're starting to create industries jobs etc so on and so forth and you need, you need people to move around the goods so your money doesn't just hang out at the dock all day you got what uh, 4,000 and 11 people I'm assuming these are revolutionaries that came through nice all right it has been built of course we're gonna take this by we're gonna take the 18 months it's not even a question even though we might finish before then we might get out of their rule before then it's very very crucial to do that it is very crucial to do that. This way you can be in a safe side. Because believe me, in the beta and in Tropical 5, I played games where I didn't take this and I ended up regretting it bad. So we got a, we got one industry. We got two industries. When industries, I mean things that are like, you know, work hand in hand together. We got a few a few ranches. Uh, we got a lot of construction offices. Build one tavern. I'll, I'll do that. No, no problem. We're, we're, doing, we're doing excellent, man. We're going to wait for these to get built. While we wait for them, let's go ahead and build them their tavern. That's a great idea, actually. Don't forget that these things do make you money. I mean, not the most money, but uh, internal things like taverns, restaurants, etc., so on and so forth, they end up making you money, man. So don't don't sleep on them. Do not sleep on them. So go ahead and put this in high priority right now. We can want this to get built. We're not really worried about the tavern. Looks like they're doing a good job at building it fast. First sugar plantation is open. Okay, here we are just wondering. Progression of World Wars. Something does not feel quite right. Mm-hmm. Yes, it doesn't. Uh, fulfill revolutionary demand. This increases revolution standing. La 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 la. Of course, we're planning on doing that. Our uh, supporting revolutionaries, 52 out of 60, have an average revolutionary approval, 55 out of 60. Shouldn't be a problem for us at all. I don't. I don't see it being a problem. Oh wow! Just like that, it took us one, but we have completed. We have completed our 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 coconut coconut yeah coconut hive. <clears throat> Oh, look at that. Just like that, we have... Would you look at that? Just like that, we have completed our first coconut uh, trade deal. Amazing. We didn't really do that that much to begin with, so maybe now we're a little more comfortable, and of course now it's gone. But I was going to say, if we're a little more comfortable, we can just go for more units. Uh, I'm afraid the rum units is not really that good, or not, they're not a lot. I mean, I took, what, 900 units? It's probably going to be done in one, in one shipment. But there's one more here also to them. That says 3,000. We're going to actually go ahead and take it. So we have now two. 
We have two uh, deals for Rum. But that's okay because we... I anticipate this is being the things that's gonna that's gonna help us at first. It usually does. I, I love rum and rum and cigar factories are, are the best, but that's that's really nice. We gotta go ahead and build actually a couple more bunk houses here, just to kind of put a damp on 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 the, on the homelessness problem for now. Oh yeah, another revolution sport. We're gonna go ahead and get ten of them. We're gonna build one here, and let's see. Maybe I don't know the I don't know how how much there is a demand for country houses, but. We we'll go ahead and build two right here. Why not? So we got two and two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's wrap it up for episode number one. Let's recap real quick because it has been a very successful episode number one, if you ask me. We're still in the hundred thousands. I know we started a little higher than usual because the difficulty is high, but we got one industry, the tannery, two industries, the rum. Then we got the coconut hides or the coconut deal, which we completed. Our housing is looking good. We got a grocery store for them. Rum is going to help us out a lot. Our trade deals are going through. We got the bunk houses, three construction offices, two Teamsters offices. If you ask me, that's a great, great start to this episode. Once again, welcome to episode number one of Tropical 6 Sandbox Gameplay. It has been my pleasure and always will be my pleasure to play these games for you guys, especially for the Tropical fans. So if you did enjoy this episode, please do me that favor. They want another tannery? We'll take it just because we have no other option right now. I need the mandate to be extended until I make sure we have revolutionary support. But please do help me out by subscribing to the channel, become, becoming a part of the J Army. This is what we do. Again, this episode was longer than usual. Usually my episodes are not going to be this long. But I hope you guys did enjoy every second of it. My name is Juritastic. I'll see you in episode number two. And I am out.